Hello everybody, welcome back to a uh, brand new video. In today's video, I am doing something a little bit different. You can tell I'm not in my original setup. I'm not, I'm not filming actually for no, no, no. But, but don't worry, I have like a... Like a lot of stuff to I have like a lot of stuff to review. I gotta review this guy and Naga, but I, but I got like other figures coming. <laughs> but today, this is a King Older video. Wait, what the Boku? Boku, I thought Boku, I thought you don't like King Older because you made most of the times on Twitter. You're right, I don't. But uh, I'm here to review the DX. Ultra Caliber Zero uh, uh, toy. This is the DX version. I, I bought this from Total Lucky, by the way. And uh, this is the only piece of King Ultra merch I will have because I like Raculous. He's a hater, just like me. And having this really makes it really well. Oh, by the way, yeah, I'm using my ring light for the for my light, but you can tell. But yeah, having this really makes this satisfying for me. Also, I can't lie, I love this box. This front cover right here. Oh, fuck, sorry. Sorry, I didn't make it my wall bottle, but I love this front cover right here. It has, it shows, it shows, it shows the, I think, I think this is the castle, but I love the, I love everything. The suit, the saber, it had, it had the Bandai Namco logo right there. It, it, it even says it well, right here. It's like, it's in, it's in uh, the King Oja text. My favorite part of, the, of this box is this. It shows all the colors of all, of all the King Ogers. You got Gia, you got Himiko, you got uh, Yama, you got, well, well, they can't show Kagaragi because, because well, his is black. So, you, so, yeah, but uh, there's Rita as well. Here's the back, here's the, here's the uh, bottom of what it says for the size here and here. And uh, yeah, that's basically all for, that's basically all for. But uh, now it's time to get to the well, meats and potatoes of this bad boy. Yes, here it is. The King Ultra Calibur Zero. I ain't gonna lie, I feel a little, I feel a little underwhelming, a little underwhelmed with this thing. Cause I was expecting this thing to be giant as heck, but nope. And I already know Ben ain't gonna make a freaking memorial of this crap one day. I will say this: there's no point of, there's no point of the DX Morisami sword from Dawn Brothers to the fact that Ben had just released a memorial out of nowhere for it. And y'all don't care for Morisami's character, so yay! Anyway, so here's the sword. I love the, I love this somewhat metal gold text, gold coloring they did for it. Just like in the show, but in the show, but yeah, in the show, it was a real more actual color prop for that. Here, it's way more like plastic yellow, which is okay, but still. Now you want to know how many how many signs how many voices well sounds does this thing have? I said signs, I mean sounds. A lot actually. I'm gonna be honest, and I'm gonna show you that. <laughs> okay, I'll wait. First, we're gonna do the henshin Okami Soul. Ignore all this. <laughs> but yeah, that, but yeah, but yeah, that's the, uh, well. <laughs> this video's so bad! <laughs> sorry, sorry. But uh, yeah, that's the henchman sound for it. I'm gonna be honest, that henchman sound is really annoying. 
I like it, but at the same time, it's very too, very loud. And I wish there was a reason for me to turn the volume down this thing, but of course I can't. Oh, bye. Here's a little trick that I learned. Oh, wait. Oh, my bad. Here's a little trick that I learned. This is not what I meant to show you. So, apparently, I can summon, I can summon King Order Zero with this thing. And at the same time, it has all the, it has all the sound effects from the original King Order Sword. And it's all in here as well. Let me show you. Yeah, it does that. <laughs> this is a this is a fascinating toy. Here's a, here's another trick to figure out about this thing. So so all right. It's the best part. I guess you could say, if you want to be a hater one day, you're like, oh, you know what? Wait! Oh. <laughs> yeah, that's basically how it is. <laughs> oh lord. <sighs> so, honest thoughts on this thing. If you like King Oldger, I recommend it. But this thing is premium Bandai, but I'm going to be totally be honest with you. This is this going to be a hot take of mine, but uh... Don't think more Same's DX toy, DX sword. I felt like this could have been a regular release. Just gonna be honest. This could have been a regular release around 50 bucks. Or around the same price as the regular uh, King Oldred Caliber. I like this. While it's a repaint, I do. But at the same time, I already know that Bandai could be making a, a freaking memorial out of this crap. And that's going to get me really mad. Until that happens, I'm sticking with this. Overall, this is a... Oh, I didn't mean to put that. This is a good toy. But at the same time, I'm not like the best toy reviewer to review like role-playing items. So please forgive me. 
Granted, I got, granted, I got like, I got like two other, I got like two like, nah, I can't talk. I can't talk, sorry. I got like other roll, roll, roll call, roll playing items to view for the, for this channel, but yeah. Oh well, uh, this is a uh, good, this is a, this is a good uh, toy. But at the same time, if you don't feel like you want to pay around, if you don't feel like you want to get this, then just don't. My best option just to say this, just go buy the king, just go buy the freaking king older caliber uh, zeal F Which I know. My best bet there. If you don't want to buy this, and if you love regular character, just buy the SHF. I, his figure are still on pre-order. His, his figure are still on pre-order right now, guys. So you can go pre-order that, and yeah. Or if you don't like SHF, buy the Sodo. Even though I don't like Sodo figures, but yeah, this is a good. This is a good weapon. But at the same time. I felt like the price was I felt, I felt, I felt like the price was a little on the his a little bit too much because the, the original price for this bad boy was like what I think 150 I think 150 but uh I paid about I pay about 50 50 bucks for this thing on deposit on Tokyo collectibles and yeah this is a this is a good toy but at the same time I feel like I couldn't, I feel like if I wanted more, I could have bought the original DX version, but at the same time, I don't do role play items, and well, I don't care for King Goldger. But this was, but, but, but this is a good toy. Will I keep it out on my display? No, I'll put it back in his box and put it on my shelf over there. <laughs> and yeah, thank you all for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe. Follow all my social media in the description. Yeah, guy. And subscribe to my channel because your boy's trying to hit 1,000 subs this year, and this year it's almost over. Funny enough, crazy, no, right? We got like two more months. We got two more months before 2024 gets it. <laughs> Sorry. But yeah. But yeah. Subscribe to my channel. Boy's trying to hit 1,000 subs. If we guys help, well, we can do it. And yeah, guys, thanks for all watching. Please like, comment, subscribe. In my next review, I will. My next video will probably be on the SHF SH figure Nago or the Master Morpher. I have the Master Morpher it's on my shelf right there. I gotta go work on a thumbnail for that bad boy. And uh, I'm, I'm just I'm just waiting for Tokyo Collectible to send me the deposit for the Hurricane Gyro so I can review that guy for you. I'm so excited for that thing. And, uh, yeah. Oh yeah, one last thing. Uh, Bandai just announced a Memorial Gabby Revolver for Kiryuja, so if you guys are down for me to view that, let's make sure this video get a lot of love and attention. And I'll try to do that. <laughs> Rest to my wallet, but still. Thank you all for watching. Talk to you guys later. Peace.